Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to mod Starfield if you have purchased the game uh, via Game Pass or you're running it via Game Pass or uh, the Microsoft PC app. There's a lot of uh, misinformation going around that you cannot mod this game via Game Pass and that everything is blocked and that it's just like straight up a lie. <laughs> okay, so number one, I you can do all this stuff through Vortex. Save yourself some pain. Don't do this stuff manually. It's going to be 10 times harder. Go into Vortex. Go into Games. Search for the game. You will see Starfield in this bottom lineup. You're going to click on it, and it's going to ask you where to set the game install because uh, Game Pass blocks the EXE files from showing up, so Vortex is not going to know where to go. So... Wherever, however you get there, hit manually set location or just pick somewhere the path and then come here and hit manually set location. This is where you're going to go. It is the default for this. So when you go to manually set, it should pull you up right to here. Um, if it doesn't, go into here, go to your game, hit the dots, hit manage, go to files, go to browse, and it will bring you to Starfield. Make sure that you click into content and set it here. If you set it here, you will have problems. If you set it somewhere within the content file, you will have more problems. This was a mistake I made. None of my stuff worked. So make sure you've set it to the right spot. It should look like this. The second thing you need to do, this is the one that everybody is screwing up right now, is you need to create this file. It's a configuration file. It's a dot uh, IHI, or excuse me, INI. Go to this mod. I'll show it to you in Vortex. And I'll link it below. It is the no XP kill steal fix for your companions. Uh, a whole bunch of other mods have these INI files kind of thrown in here. Because if you are manually modding, if you're not using Vortex, um, you need to basically have like a custom script version of this file for every single mod. It's kind of a nightmare. That's why I do not recommend doing manually downloading your mods for this game. It's, you're going to have a lot of fun time. All right. So you can download this file. I've already downloaded it. It's going to pop up. You need to download it to here. Users, put your name in, it'll pop up under OneDrive, go to Documents, go to My Games, go to Starfield. It's going to take you forever. It took me forever to find this for some reason. It's under My Documents. You do not want to put this in the game directory files where we told it to put the mods. Don't go in there. Put it here. It's going to be named Starfield Custom. Open this up. You will see Starfield Custom. You're going to see a whole bunch of stuff that's going to populate before it says archive. I'll even download a copy for you and show you. There. So before your archive, you're going to have a general line and you're going to have a console command start. If you manually download these files, you need to basically have one of these for every single mod you download. Like you need to have this line with like every mod below it. Or above it that determines if I understand correctly how your mods deploy so don't do that what you can do is literally just delete this I'm not gonna do it delete that go to file and save it into this file path for you you have to have this in here if you do not have this file and it does not say configuration settings under type it will not work you cannot just simply type you know starfield custom dot I and I and make it work. It will think it's a text file. There are tons of people out there saying, just do, just type it up. No, don't type it up. Go to this link and download the file from here. It's not a big deal. Once you do that, you are free to come in to Vortex and download all the stuff you want. 